Hello, my name is Jordan Taylor, and today I'm going to be talking about Jonathan Rossiter's TED Talk speech, A Robot That Eats Pollution. Jonathan Rossiter is a professor of robotics at University of Bristol and heads the soft robotics group at Bristol Robotics Laboratory. He researches soft robotics, basically meaning robots that aren't humanized but complement structures of the environment to do environmentally helpful deeds. For instance, what he is holding in his hand is referred to as a robot, spelled R-O-W-B-O-T. The significance of this invention is to clean up our polluted waters. Now, some of you may be wondering, exactly how are our waters polluted? Our waters are contaminated with algae pollution. This happens from chemical runoff. Algae pollution starves the water of oxygen, thus killing water organisms. Another popular form of water pollution is oil pollution. This happens when oils run off boats and machinery into the water. The oil in the water suffocates and kills water life just as well as the algae does. Now, here is the robot. It is crafted to act as an animal and eat, digest, and produce its own energy to survive. The robot sits on the surface of the water to take in pollution through the intake and leave water clean throughout the outtake. The robot will then use the pollution as energy to keep it alive and running properly. Now, with all this new information, I'm going to leave you with three questions. One, will these be commonly used in the future? Two, will they invent a robot based off the same system but to clean air pollution? And three, will scientists invent a biodegradable robot, and if so, out of what material? Question number three is posed in Jonathan Rossiter's TED Talk speech. He mentions how he puts a tracking device on all robots when he sets them out. Why? Because the robots are mainly composed of plastic. Therefore, leaving them out in the environment to die would also create a source of pollution. So, biodegradable means, such as jelly, as he suggested in the TED Talk, could stay out in the environment and would also create more considering how they would not have to track them. This gives you something to think about. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.